For infeed calibration, if the first or second operation seam thickness is incorrect, you can adjust them with the infeed adjuster screws. The nut requires a 3 8 inch wrench and the screw requires a 5 30 seconds Allen key. Complete the first seam operation, remove the can from the seamer, and measure the seam's thickness. When measuring the seam thickness, the caliper should be parallel to the inside taper of the can rather than parallel to the straight sides of the can. Make sure to not squeeze the caliper too tightly when measuring. If too much pressure is used, the seam will appear smaller than reality. To decrease the seam thickness, loosen the nut and turn the screw counterclockwise. If the seam is too small, turn the screw clockwise. A full turn of the screw adjusts the thickness about 0.001 inches. After adjusting the screw, run the operation again and measure the new seam thickness. Continue to adjust, test, and remeasure until the seam thickness is within the spec. The gap between the roller and the top surface of the upper chuck needs to be set to a minimum, but still allows the roller to rotate freely. To set the gap, first loosen the vertical position locking screw. That will allow the roller assembly to move freely up and down. Position the roller above the chuck by rotating the operation lever to the hard stop position. Allow the roller to rest on the chuck and retighten the vertical position locking screw. With the roller still located on top of the chuck, rotate it to make sure it spins free. If it feels a bit tight, loosen the locking screw and retighten it slowly while rotating the roller. Repeat loosening and tightening if necessary. The clamping force between the lower adapter and the upper chuck is critical to a good seam. In general, the base force is set to just less than the maximum that the can can take before it collapses. To adjust the base force, first back off the lower nut a couple of turns. With the can loaded into the seamer, use the upper nut to lower the base force to nearly zero. As you adjust the nut, the handle will feel lighter and lighter until the can never fully clamps. Once the force is set to zero, you'll turn the upper nut clockwise to set the base force. Once the base force is set, tighten up the lower nut. If you are crushing cans after setting the base force, it might be set a little too high. Finally, test a can by seaming it and measure the body hook. If it's sufficient, then the base force is calibrated. For more information, check out our other Model 7 tutorial videos.